beautiful people and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be all about blogging as a christian influencer and little things that i've learned here and there about growing an instagram following and engaging with a community and answering your questions because that's what i want to do i posted on my instagram if you guys had any questions about blogging social media influencing and i actually got a surprisingly like big response from you guys and i know a lot of you are bloggers or are looking to be a blogger and i've been doing blogging for about mm, three years so i have some experience and i have been able to grow my instagram to over thirty thousand followers i'm literally so excited about connecting with each and every one of you and i just think it's so mind-blowing the way like this platform has just you know impacted my life and like helped me to just make friendships and relationships and i love you guys so much i literally like sometimes i think about it and i'm like oh my god god has been so faithful so good i just really love connecting with people and the fact that this is even possible is just mind-blowing i literally can talk about this topic for two days straight non-stop but i want to make this like as compact and you know relatable as possible relatable a lot of people are like so what do you recommend that i do how do i start and to be honest i would just like google and research the heck out of the blogging topic you watching this video is a great start when i first started what i would do is youtube like how to grow an instagram following how to edit my picture how to use this app there's so much free information out there to be honest sometimes when people are selling their like oh instagram course grow your following this is that sometimes i just get really upset because like people are charging so much money for you know these resources and i get it but like a lot of the information is pretty much out in the open and it's on the internet so i would just say don't go crazy spending your money on instagram courses because if you're determined to you know be really good at something you can just research it like on the internet and get free information okay so i have my phone and i wrote down a couple things that i want to share with you guys so the first thing that almost everyone wants to know is how did you grow a real genuine following if there's one thing that you can take away from this video it would be never buy fake followers i mean never there is absolutely no point of that and you're just wasting your money like no i have been growing my instagram like slow and steady for three years and i mean i wouldn't really have it any other way because i don't want to buy like twenty thousand followers for five dollars and like oh wow i have twenty thousand followers okay but those followers are fake they don't like engage with your account you're not impacting anyone you know so it's just it doesn't make sense so just don't do it just bad idea i have three things that i would say that helped me grow my instagram page a lot and just my overall blogging platform so i have a website i have a youtube i have a pinterest account i have a facebook i have a twitter account like i have all these several accounts but primarily my focus has been on instagram because i mean let's face it majority of my audience is on instagram so that's honestly what i've been focusing on and now the past couple months i've been focusing on my youtube platform which i'm really passionate about and i love making videos for you guys but the three things that have helped me grow my instagram the most has been number one collaborating with brands number two collaborating with other influencers and number three engaging with my audience so that is you know top notch those are the three things no well i have another thing fourth thing is creating high quality content that's like number one i think you got to create the good content to be honest i feel like this video is going to be all over the place but i'm just going to throw information out as like it comes to my head so i got a question about collaborating with brands um they asked do i reach out to them or do they reach out to me so i say it's a little bit of both um when you first start i feel like there's a lot of you know small little companies who are going to be like hey we would like to send you like a free t-shirt or this or like can you be an ambassador for our brand and i just feel like you have to be super careful about things like that because some of those things are sketchy and like if somebody is asking you to be an ambassador i honestly feel like you shouldn't have to pay for anything like if you want me to promote your product just give me your product for free like why do i have to pay for something you know what i mean it just doesn't make sense when people are like oh like be an ambassador you'll get 30 percent off like no you give me the free product you know and then i'll decide if i want to be an ambassador or not and i feel like these little companies they often take advantage of smaller influencers because 
y'all just don't know better you know what i mean so i just say just be very careful about that because you know it just depends on you and like if you really connect with the brand and you're like yes i will accept 30 percent off your product because i truly you know i love it so i will promote it for that 30 percent discount but i don't know some of those little companies like that that you know reach out to you via dm and stuff like that some of it is pretty sketchy so i'd say be careful about that so there's like the thing called pitching pitching to brands and basically you you know find their emails what i use is a website called hunter basically i just search like the company and see if they have like an email associated with the company whether it be like influencers at blank.com or like social media at blank.com you know what i mean so i'll try to find an email associated to the brand and pitch to them that way and you can also find their email via you know instagram or another one is linkedin i know a lot of people use linkedin to find people's emails i try to email the brands myself if i really want to work with them and basically what i do is i say like you know i really love your brand and i i love what you guys stand for depending on the company you know i'll tailor it to whatever like the brand is so i'll say something like you know i've been following you for a while i have genuinely been following like the brands that i want to work with um i've been following your instagram account for a while and i really love you know blank 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 and i think that your brand would resonate really well with my audience and i would love to create high quality content for your brand blah 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 and then i'll send them my media kit which includes photos that i've previously taken with different brands or things that i've done in the past this pitching stuff this can go into so much depth but i'm just giving you an overall picture of what this looks like yeah so i send them my media kit and then i do not i mean when i first pitch myself to a brand i don't say like oh like they, these are my rates this is what i want to get paid like i will never do that like that that's like me like begging for money like i don't do that i just tell them what i can offer them and then i'll just wait for their response and then i'll say something like is your team working with a marketing budget and if they are then i'll just you know tell them my rates and see if they can work with it and if not and there's like a lot of negotiation going back and forth yeah that's how i build brand relationships and then sometimes it goes the other way around where the brand is reaching out to me and then they ask me for my rates and then i give it to them one of the best ways that i find brands to work with is through influencer platforms that connect the influencer to a brand or vice versa okay so i have a couple written down i'm looking at my laptop so these are the ones that i personally use aspire iq clever social licks um activate takumi muse social fabric i think those are the ones that i focus on the most and on these platforms you basically you put in your information and you connect your social media accounts to the platform there's like feeds and the brands sometimes they put out applications for social media influencers to apply for the campaign and sometimes the campaign will be paid and sometimes they won't be paid so honestly it just depends on what you want at the moment because excuse me sorry that was rude <laughs> Okay, so sometimes it depends on what you want. Because I've been able to grow my following and I produce high quality content, I feel like that's my advantage. I feel like that has been what has set me apart from a lot of people is creating high quality content. So if you're new to this influencing blogging kind of thing you're probably looking for more opportunities to review products you're not necessarily looking for income from it because you're just starting out like you know you got to start somewhere so one of the best ones that i would recommend in terms of influencing platforms for bloggers i would say is octaly because on octaly they have like a free store that you can like select which products you want to review and then the brand will review your account and see if they want to send products to you if you have a good account and a good amount of followers that are actually engaged i don't think it should be any problem with them wanting to send you product okay so at what point did i start making money and are you full-time so i am not a full-time blogger however you know i'd hope to be but you know honestly whatever god wants and i'm just gonna keep working hard and i really enjoy what i'm doing right now i am on an e-commerce team for a brand and i really enjoyed that but of course i love blogging and i love you know connecting with you guys and stuff like that but this is not my full-time job to be honest like because 
you know, I'm still relatively new. I only started doing this probably like three years ago. So the income is not necessarily as consistent as I would want it to be. It depends on the season too. Like sometimes I get more campaigns during the holiday season because obviously, you know, retailers are really highlighting the holiday season. And for example, seasons like this where people are not really shopping retail, um, a lot of brands are not necessarily wanting to collaborate in seasons i mean like with this you know quarantine stuff like that like people are not necessarily like buying you know retail items they're only buying necessities so right now it's pretty slow to be honest as an influencer for me personally because you know brands are not really looking to extend their budget that far into influencers it obviously depends on the brand but all this to say that i do not make enough money influencing to just quit my job like i still haven't gotten to that point but someday i hope to but right now that is not the case but to be transparent with you guys last year alone i probably made 10 grand just influencing and blogging like with brand collaborations influencers can make money many different ways and i've seen influencers that make like insane amount of money doing this and i know there's opportunity my income last year from my blogging alone goes to show that this is a real career and that you know it's it's like a business earlier this year i actually went official with my business i am forever jennifer llc which is super exciting and you know it's legit it's real income and it it's real <laughs> that all that to say that this is real and if you put in the hard work you will see the fruit of that um it won't come right away because you know it's a slow and steady process but the income is real one of the best ways to make money off of blogging is to have multiple streams of income so a lot of people use affiliate networks like reward style which is like the like to know it kind of thing so i am on like to know it but to be honest i haven't gotten like a significant amount of income coming from that I guess because I don't like, I don't pay attention to that enough. You probably may already know what like to know it is. Like it's literally like everywhere, like every blogger has it. But basically it's like if somebody links a product and if you buy it as a blogger, you can make commission off of the link that you are, you know, promoting. That is just like hit or miss and that's dependent on like if you, you know, the consumer buys the product. Yes, I do use affiliate links with reward style and I basically look at it as if, I was like um, a person, for example, at Nordstrom, I used to be a salesperson at Nordstrom for an internship that I was a part of, but that was not my scene. I did not like working off commission, but this is basically the same thing. However, it's like on Instagram. So if you're going into Nordstrom and there's a salesperson that's helping you, they're obviously going to get commission off of that sale that they made with you so it's basically the same thing i'm you know sharing for example i'm sharing this hat and i'm like hey i think you guys should buy this hat because i genuinely love it and it's great quality and like no for real like i really love this hat so if i put in this affiliate link and you buy the product i may or may not get commission off of it um depending obviously on you know the brand of the hat or whatever if they're affiliated with reward style so it's all dependent so off of reward style i've probably made only like 150 dollars. i don't think it has been very significant for my brand but i will continue to use it because you know it's really minimal that affiliate amount like some people make a lot of money because they link literally everything in their life like they link everything the commission can range anywhere from like a dollar 25 to like 25 cents to like seven cents so it's really not that significant i feel like i don't pay attention to that part of my business a lot but you know if i did pay attention to it more i'd probably make more of an income off of it but yeah i don't know I'll, I'll work on it <laughs> but that amount of money that i made last year was primarily off brand collaborations the biggest am i'm not saying all of this to like brag about oh you know i'm just saying this you know like i said before like income is real and like you can really make a career out of this so the most that i've probably made in a brand collaboration is fifteen hundred dollars i believe it was a hair brand and they wanted like seven deliverables and it was like a couple instagram stories and like two or three instagram posts um it was fifteen hundred dollars for that but as you grow and you get better at your content you're able to price yourself at you know what you are worth and a lot of people go off the 
penny per follower rule but like I spend a lot of money on equipment I love like I'm equipment like that's my thing I love investing in quality equipment so that my content is as good as it can possibly be so my price ranges sometimes people are like uh, we can't really afford this and I'm like well I'm not gonna budge because you know I know my worth and I know the amount of money that I put into the equipment that I'm producing the content with so if this doesn't work for you then I'm sorry you know you just have to like know when to say no when to say yes I used to be like the yes woman anyone would be like oh like let me send you this and I'm gonna pay you you know like literally chunk change and like I would uh, say yes but now it's like okay no I know my worth and I know that I put a lot of effort into my content and I don't just like take pictures with my iPhone and, like check that's it no I literally like I take my time and I really concentrate on the caption I concentrate on every single aspect of the content and I just I know my worth so I'm not just gonna say yes to anything and I don't want to say yes to something that I don't even like you know I want to say yes to brand collaborations that truly connect with you my audience and that you know really resonate with me you know I'm not gonna promote something that I literally hate the way I'm able to grow my following by working with brands is if I create high quality content, the brand will most likely use the high quality content onto their page and that's giving my brand exposure and it's driving traffic to me, to my page and then that's how it's growing. So it's kind of like an even exchange because I'm helping them grow their brand and they're helping me grow my brand. So that's one of the ways that I've been able to grow my account and the second way was working with influencers one of the best ways to grow on instagram is doing giveaways and collaborating with influencers that are in your same what they call niche or niche or whatever what i would do is reach out to other bloggers who may be working with the same kind of you know audience doing the same kind of thing as me and i'll ask them like hey do you want to collaborate and do a giveaway and then basically i'm exposing my audience to them and they're exposing their audience to me and so Again, it's just like an even exchange and at the same time, we're giving back to our community and I think it's a great way to get yourself out there. I love doing giveaways and I love giving back to you guys because, I mean, you guys are literally so important to my business, to my brand, and I'm literally here for you guys. So, love giving back to you guys and collaborating with other influencers is a great way to grow your Instagram page. Another way that I'm able to grow my page is by engaging with people. So, what I do is I follow hashtags. Tags. I follow, for example, hashtag Christian blogger, hashtag New Jersey blogger, hashtag faith blogger, hashtag um, grace upon grace, hashtag um, propel woman, hashtag she reads truth. Like all these hashtags are kind of related to what I do. I try to follow these hashtags and engage with the people that use these hashtags. The more that you like put yourself out there, the more you like people's posts, the more you comment on as many posts as you can and truly like genuinely comment and engage with your audience that is so crucial and another way that you can engage with your audience is by making captivating content and engaging captions on my captions what i've been doing lately is trying to make it as engaging as possible and making sure that you guys are able to respond you know like sometimes i'll put a question in there sometimes i'll put like would you rather do this would you rather do that how was your day today you know really get to know you guys and then you guys can get to know me by these engaging captions all right i feel like this is getting so long i hope this has been helpful how do you deal with negative people slash comments this is interesting so i feel like as a small blogger sometimes i do get comments that are rude but to be honest not as much like i really don't and i'm so grateful for that but there has been people that have said things like if you were to do this you'd be more of a christian if you do like stuff like that like that is just like unnecessary but how do i deal with it i just ignore it i literally don't have time for that on the other side of it it's like how do you deal with people in your life who don't support you wanting to be an influencer or wanting to have a blog or something like that like i just say ignore them too <laughs> if god has placed this in your heart to be on social media and to you know have your own personal brand and to connect with people on this platform then do you who cares what people think like it is what it is there have been tons of people who don't support what i do and it is what it is god has you know covered me and has 
given me favor in this that I wanted to do and God has given me the desires of my heart because I've put him first in everything and I just don't get swayed by many people's opinion and my family could attest to this that I'm very like hardcore like when I want something I will do anything to achieve it people who come around me who are just negative I just I don't tolerate it like I used to and I used to want to please everyone but now it's just like I know my calling I know my purpose and I know what God has called me to do and right now it's this and I'm gonna put my heart and soul into this this and if you don't support me like it's okay but just don't come and bring your negative vibes around me i hope that answers that well <laughs> So the next question says, how do you get your inspiration? So I would say that I primarily get my inspiration from Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I love getting photo ideas from Pinterest. I love getting outfit ideas from Pinterest. But I would also say that I get my inspiration from other influencers. Sometimes they do really cool stuff that inspires me. I wouldn't say it's copying them. I don't think you can ever truly copy someone. I think that you are you. And like I always say this, you are you and that is your advantage. Like there's nobody like you. So if you do get inspiration, from another creator like it will never be the exact same it's your creative piece because you made it and it has your own creative twist on it i do get a lot of inspiration from other influencers however if you find yourself like i often struggled with this if you find yourself creating content that's like way too similar or like you're editing your photos like exactly the way this other person is editing it i would just say like stay away from that like you really you want to be yourself and you don't want to get caught up in trying to be like someone else because you just want to find your unique style and if you find yourself like trying to like copy someone else's like content and stuff like that and being like way overly inspired by them i would honestly say probably like unfollow them remove them from your feed because i feel like that's kind of toxic and that kind of takes away from you being you and that's what i've done in the past like if i find myself too focused on the way someone else is doing something i would just remove them from my feed like nothing against them it's just for personal preference like i just want to make sure that i'm staying in my lane and staying focused on what i'm called to create yeah pretty much that's how i get my inspiration but i'm very careful on who i allow to just like inspire me and who i follow on instagram i think the last thing that i want to say is another way that i've grown my following is through hashtags if you search for example hashtag faith blogger and there's like a little arrow at the bottom you can see all the hashtags that are related to that exact one so for example hashtag give me jesus hashtag christian writers hashtag scripture of the day hashtag bible scriptures like these are all hashtags that are pretty popular and i would use them on my post but i wouldn't use ones that have like a million posts because your post will probably get lost in that amount of you know post so i would probably use anything that's under like 500k to put on my photo if that makes sense hashtag super important and i have seen that people have found my account through these hashtags and overall as someone who wants to be like a blogger or influencer i think it's really important to understand what your focus is on for example, like when somebody goes to your Instagram profile, the first thing that they're going to look at is like you literally have like probably like five seconds to convince them to follow you or not. So on my Instagram profile, I say Jennifer, New Jersey style blogger, helping the everyday girl become the confident queen she was created to be um, Latina and my email and my YouTube link. What I have learned is that you have to make your Instagram bio or basically just like your business revolve around you know what you're giving to other people so when someone visits your profile what will they gain from following you if they don't feel like you're gonna offer them anything i don't think they will be convinced that you're a great fit for their instagram feed so make sure that when you're thinking about what is your focus what will you be promoting what will your captions be about what is your primary focus how are you going to help them what is the need that you are going to meet what is the benefit of them following you so in this ever-changing instagram world social media world just make sure to not to get caught up in like the numbers and really just stay like i said before stay in your lane and stay focused on what god has told you to do and the people that you connect with and make genuine connections and relationships and i feel like that just will take you far i pray that this was helpful for you and that you've learned a little bit today about social media influencing and you know maybe you do want to make this a career someday or 
or just do this for fun because at the end of the day it's all really fun and i i really enjoy it and i really love talking to you guys that's pretty much all i have for today and if you have anything else that you'd want to hear from me or anything that you want to see in my upcoming videos let me know and make sure to subscribe okay bye guys